Hi everyone, my name is Alicia Markford and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States and I live in St. Paul, Minnesota. And today I would like to talk to you about the Flowering Field Suite. This is a fabulous suite that is available in the mini catalog. The mini catalog came out in January and it is good through June of this year. There's some absolutely gorgeous things in this catalog. This, I'm a, I am love sweets. I've always loved sweets. I did sweets before I was a demonstrator. I just, the, you get so many product for such a good price. And this, when I went through the catalog, I knew this was going to be my very first sweet that I purchased. And I have um, played with it a little bit. I did work with the Tulip Fields. I absolutely love the windmill and the bicycle, and I played, um, made a couple cards with that. Uh, but I hadn't used the flowering tulip set yet. And so yesterday I decided that I would make this week all about tulips. And when I went to go make a card, I knew what kind of card I wanted to make. But when I went and I cut the pieces out, I wasn't sure how to put them together. And I found a video um, on Pinterest. Um, her name is Jennifer Cotton. She's a demonstrator. And she had a great tutorial video on how to put together the tulips. Okay, so this is the card that I made yesterday with the help of her um, tutorial to put together the flowers for the, the tulips. And she does uh, did a great pop-up and she folded, feathered the, the flower petals to make them look more realistic. And I really like how she put these together. So I thought that I would make a video to show you guys a great way to make this um, card and an easy way to put the tulip dies together. Okay. So this is the card. This is the DSP that comes in the suite. The designer series paper in this suite is just gorgeous. So I use the Simply Marvelous paper for the petals that is available in the Celebration uh, catalog through the end of this month. And this uh, paper is awesome paper that is available in Celebration through the end of this month. This you can earn uh, with a qualifying $50 purchase through the mini catalog and the annual catalog. Okay. So... Jennifer had put together this uh, great little chart and she laid out the dies that she used and the pieces and I thought how great. Okay, so this obviously cuts this and this die cuts these and then for this die it cuts these. So you get three of these in your set. You get one of these, so then you had to cut this twice because I wanted to use three flowers on my card. And then, like I said, this one did these petals and so on and so forth. Okay, so when you cut your die, it has score lines. Okay, um, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but there are little score lines that are in it. That indentation in the die that makes the score line. Okay, so this right here you just fold these over okay and there's your your flower okay just like that and that's this flower right here okay so for this flower you need this piece and this piece this is the set your like your little bud coming out okay so that goes like that and then this goes like this okay so you get your three-dimensional look okay so then the same for this you find your score lines and you fold them over just like so okay this is your bud okay that is this flower right here in the middle and so this one you need two pieces you need your this center piece and you just adhere it inside like that and fold it over so you get like a bud okay and then for this one I'm going to show you how she takes this middle 
this other piece and you just take your bone folder and go like so. And this gives you more of a realistic look to the flower instead of just having it flat. Okay, so again, you take your petal and you find your score line, which is right here. Okay, so then you have this and that is this third flower here. Okay, and you just fold those over. You take this piece and you layer it in here like that. And then this piece goes in here like this. And you have that uh, three-dimensional flower for your card. Okay, so I thought that I would show you how she made them pop up. So let's get this out of the way. And I have my parts and pieces for my card that I have already started that we can, I'll show you how she put these together. Okay, so I had already cut out my parts and pieces. Okay, and this is um, Highland Heather cardstock. This I cut at five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of fresh freesia as a mat, and this is cut at um, five and a quarter by four. And then this is the designer series paper that I chose, and this I cut at four let's see i didn't cut it at four and three quarters by three and a half i cut it at four and seven eighths by three and five eighths i believe okay so that was the the base for my card and then i took the the layering vellum that can also be found in the midi catalog i absolutely love this layering vellum not sure if you can see it but it has like a white cursive writing on it in that layering vellum they have the black cursive they have like a newspaper print um, maps it's really great i just love this vellum it adds a whole like a romantic feel i feel like to this card okay so we have that. That I cut at uh, four and a half by, th by three and a quarter for my layering vellum. Okay. And then what I did was I took pear pizzazz and I stamped with the stamp set in pear pizzazz on pear pizzazz. Okay. And that I used these leaves and this stem. Okay. And then... Here's my leaves. I have another one floating around here somewhere because I know I did three because I cut two of the, the big and one of the small and then three stems for our tulips. And then I cut, oh, here's my other leaf right here. And then I cut with the layering circle dies. I used these dies, okay? I cut this one in basic white and this one in Highland Heather. And that's for our sentiment. I love this circle sentiment. You are so thoughtful. You are so thoughtful. And that says thank you in the middle. That's the sentiment from the stamp set for the flowering tulips that we're going to use today. Okay, so let's uh, put these flowers together and let's get started. So I showed you how to put them together. And once, like I said, once you have your parts and pieces cut out and you've seen it, once put together, it, it's it's pretty simple, okay? So what you do to make it look dimensional, or 3D, is you use your dimensionals, okay? And I'm using mini dimensionals, and I am going to put a dimensional behind the Fresh Freesia piece, okay, like so. And I'm going to put this in my main petal like this okay this i've already used my bone folder okay i'm going to use another dimensional i'm going to put it on the back pull that off and i am going to stick that right here okay so see you have your flower 
I just love it with the dimensional in there. And then to get these, instead of using the your seal or you could use seal, you could use mono liquid glue, but what I found to be the easiest was to use glue dots. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two glue dots. Get a couple glue dots. Okay, and I'm going to put on the petal like that. And then I'm going to put another one on this side. Just like so. See, it's going to be. Okay. Fold it over here. Glue dots not sticking out. And there's our first, our first flower. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one with the dimensional. I'm gonna put a dimensional behind the fresh freesia. Just put it right here. Okay, and we're gonna just like that other one, and we're gonna close it up. up like that and we're going to use glue dots again Oops, see where it needs to go put it right there and we're going to put one right This is my first time using the glue dots like this. I thought it might be a little bit easier in the video to cut them and lay them down like this. That seems to work good. Okay, so we have our bud. Here's our third flower. And again, I'm going to put a mini dimensional on the back of the fresh freezer. And I'm going to put, take your bone folder and, and curl it, okay? And we're going to put a dimensional on the back of this to give it that 3D look. And again, we're going to layer that right on top like that. Okay. And we are going to use a glue dot on this side. And there we have our tulips assembled. Okay, so we have our three tulips, and then what we're going to do is we are going to arrange them on our piece of vellum. Okay, so I have my leaves, and I'm going to grab my silicone mat, okay, because I want to glue and I don't want them sticking where I don't want anything sticking. Okay. And what's nice with this silicone mat is you're not going to get glue on your surface. And then when you take and you're not going to rip your card or your, if you had your leaves and then, or your flowers. Okay. And this is great for, to help with positioning. So I know that I want it to be in a set. You know, tulips usually kind of lean, so I took my stem, and this is the top of my stem, but I want it to curve to the left, so I'm going to flip it upside down, and we're going to set it like that. Then we have the one in the middle. Set that there. And then this one's going to curve to the other side. 
I'm going to put my smaller leaf like that, my other leaf like that. And this kind of just gives us, we're just eyeing up how we would like this to look. Okay, so grab that one like that. I'm going to put the bud in the middle. It's like so. So we kind of have an idea of how where it's going to set on our card. So what I'm going to do, let me get these out of the way. And then I am going to add some seal. I'm going to add it to the bottom of this leaf so that I can stick my my stem. And like I said, I want my stem just like that. Okay. And then I'll put my other one over that. You could use seal. You can use your all-purpose glue. It's totally up to you, whatever you're comfortable using. Okay. And then I want other leaf to go like this. And I already have some glue on there. And there's still, you still have wiggle room because I didn't put glue completely under everything. It's just towards the bottom so you can still spread your leaves and your stems out. Okay. So then I want this stem to go over this leaf. So I'm going to add a little bit more seal. Like I said, you could use your all-purpose glue as well. I prefer seal. And then I want that one to go like that. Okay. And then we have our other leaf. Okay. And I want that one to go like so. Okay. So now we have our leaves and our stems positioned. And this just helps so that, like I said, oh, I need to put a little bit more glue there. Because it, we're going to cover this up with our sentiment. So it does, it's okay that that looks, you know, you know, mislayered and there's some glue and we're covering that up. Okay. So I know I want it to go right about here on my vellum and we are going to adhere this. Normally I would take my mat and adhere it to my card and then glue down. But my upline, Melissa, had a tip yesterday with vellum that I wish I would have saw before I did my first card. But now that I know that I thought this was a great, great tip for adhering vellum. Okay. So I'm going to glue my leaves. I'm going to put some adhesive on here. Okay. And then I'll go like this because this is about where I want them on my card. Okay. And then I am going to adhere these. I'm not going to put dimensionals because I already did. So I'm going to put run a little seal just like that. Okay, we have our, our bud. And I got that upside down. That one will go there. Let's kind of poke him this way. Okay, so the tip is with vellum, you don't want to put your adhesive where it's going to show through. So what the tip was is she flips hers over and then she takes her all-purpose glue 
okay and then she puts her adhesive where you're not going to see it which i thought was so so smart and then this way you can just put this right on your card like this okay There you go there is and then you can't I'm just tapping down where my flower is because that's where the adhesive is okay and there you have your flowers and now we're going to take our sentiment Move that out of the way. Uh, this is a photopolymer stamp set, and so I'm going to take my mat because we want to give that a little bit more cush with the photopolymer to give it a nice crisp stamp. And I'm going to be using the thank you, you're so thoughtful circular stamp, and we're going to stamp that in Highland Heather. Normally, I stamp first and then I cut out my circle with through my emboss and cut machine but for video's sake I want it to speed things up so I already had cut it out and then what I do is I just stamp it right in the center of our circle and there you go This out of the way and because I used my silicone mat I don't have a sticky surface so I don't have to worry about where I'm laying my parts and pieces and I didn't use a lot of messy glue so it wasn't too too bad and then we're going to put this on our scalloped from our layering okay let me bring that in and I want that to go there and I'm going to use uh, dimensionals the mini dimensionals but because this has got a little bit poofy from the layering I'm only going to put the dimensionals on the outside edges I'm not going to put any in the middle where the flowers and the, the leaves and the stems are okay take the little backings off that. and then I did cut a piece of five and a quarter by four basic white card stock for the middle of our the inside of our card okay and then you could um, put designer series paper on the bottom to finish this off or you could stamp in the middle um let's see let's put some designer series paper and let's go with the same the same one we used okay so I know my mat is uh, five and a quarter by four so let's cut let's see here I think I want this purple I'm just gonna line that up with my trimmer And then cut a four inch piece, just like so. Okay, run some seal. I'm just gonna put this right at the bottom just to finish our card off. So here's your a card that we made with the flowering tulips and I hope my tutorial helped with your a flowering tulip set in your dies to help you um, put your flowers together you would not have to make them 3d like this you could glue flat but that is how you put them together irregardless and I just like the look of the dimensional the 3d tulips so thanks for watching bye now